Jesus says, Get rid of all negativity. Give thanks and spend much time with me in worship. February 26, 2019 Words from Jesus to Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Claire began Lord, help us to be thankful continually for the things that you bring to us every day in so many, many ways. Amen. Lord, is there anything you want to say to your bride this morning? Jesus replied, Thanksgiving, recognizing what I have blessed you with in your life and continually finding something to thank me for. This has two effects. Most immediately, it brings joy to our hearts. It brings health to your bones and stops the entrance of negative, ungrateful thoughts from being taken into your hearts. Joy upon joy, thanksgiving upon thanksgiving, is a ladder to heaven, my brides. With all the negativity you have been exposed to in past months, you are greatly in need of praise and thanksgiving. This negativity you've been exposed to has left a pole over your lives that needs to be cleansed. Praise and authentic, true appreciation for us and what we have done for you is the key to cleansing your environment. Even your physical bodies have responded to this and are in need of cleaning out. My brides, nothing builds obstacles like negativity, complaining, insecurity, worry and fear. These clouds of energy cover over joy, hope, trust in me and the working of many miracles that are available to you because you are alive to the possibilities of life that flows out from you to bless others. All of that is walled in by these negative accumulations and they cannot flow out to give free expression and encouragement to others. Furthermore, the longer they linger in your atmosphere, the more solid they become, like scales, growing over your vital organs and mind. You find yourself constantly in a defensive posture instead of a joyful, moving forward, living life, using your gifts posture. Springtime is a good time to assess what is clinging to you and rid yourself of it. May I say, so much is taken off of you when you praise us and thank us for the multitude of opportunities we give to you anew every morning. But when you are stuck in your own mind, you only attract more from the enemy. I am calling on you, my brides, to make a new effort to worship and thank me. Thank me for the little things that make your day more special, because I'm continually dropping little touches of love into your lives, whether it be a bird chirping or the resources you need for school. There are so many ways I reach out to you with my love. When you are in the store and a romantic song is playing, do not consider that a coincidence. Know that I'm singing over you and imparting new hope to your heart. Of all the things you can do to please me, worship is far and above all others. And a close second is doing good to those who are downtrodden and have no hope in their lives. Making opportunities for them, helping them with resources, saying a kind word, or quiet prayer. All of these things capture my affection for you and make me smile. This is the bridal season coming up. Rid yourselves of those spots 
wrinkles and blemishes and reach out to others with a new inspiration to live. To have this, you must spend time with me and take on my heart, my attitude, my words to you. Then you can pour it over others and leave a smile behind you. Not just any kind of smile, but one of deeply being touched by God himself, and in return touching others in a way that brings the spark of life back to their souls. We are moving on now into newness of life and the hope of heaven on earth as you cleanse yourselves from the darkness that has overshadowed this country, as you discover the gifts I've planted in you, and as you step forward in faith to exercise them for the good of all souls. I adore you, my bride. Let us move forward together and be my ambassadors of hope.